Welcome to the Council Rock Primary School Library. I'm Adele Motskevichis, and I am the lucky librarian that got to help design this primary school library from the ground up. So I had a couple of priorities of how I wanted to change it. I wanted to make the space as empowering as I could for the kids and the grown-ups, the volunteers, the teachers, the staff. I wanted to make it easier for them as well. So we made a couple of big changes. Most of our kids are just learning to read or don't know how to read at all. Or even if they're great readers, it's hard to read <laughs> when it's sideways and on a skinny little spine. We got a different kind of shelving so that instead of looking at spines, they could flip through covers. It's also easier for them to browse because now they can pick a book out off the shelf and really take a good look inside. And if they don't want it, they know how to put it back. It's like a matching game with just looking at the stickers and the signs and they know where it goes back. Well, I usually take some books, look at them, maybe open up some paint, see if I like them. But I'll put them there to fight you. I'll go find another one or then I'll go check them out. If you can imagine when we just had the spines out, if they pulled out a book and they didn't want it, the chances that it would get back to where it really belongs were really slim. The stickers match this, so, so I basically know where it's going to go because of these because these are gonna match this. We reorganized a lot. So if a child comes in and they want a book about cats, before we would have to ask, do you want a story about cats or do you want true facts? Because those would be two totally different places. But now they're together on the shelf. Well, these mean where you should put them and it even says facts and stories. Facts are about real, and stories are just stories about fiction books. So instead of us trying to look up cats, find a bunch of authors, see what's checked in, and then go to the shelf and pick out individual books, we can just point to the cat section and they can find the stories and then the facts and pick out what they want. We found it's really a lot easier also for teachers because we've made some of the sections go with um, units that we know that they do. So like in the beginning of the year, a lot of teachers do a unit about names. And so we have a section in who we are with just stories about names. And so they can come in and just pull them and go and do their unit. Hi, I'm Mrs. Ackerman. I teach second grade here at Council Rock and today I'm coming into the library to find a book about leaves falling in the fall to do an art project and Mrs. M is going to help me find the category which is nature and seasons. So here we have nature seasons and we have the nature seasons fall stories and you can tell their stories because there's a rainbow around the label. And then right next door, we have the Nature Seasons Fall Facts. And they have a different picture, it looks more real. And then the black border. And we also have, because teachers usually ask around this time of year um, for some scarecrow books, we also have a little sort of bonus section for fall about scarecrows. So then this would help us if we're thinking about fiction versus nonfiction when we're looking at the labels. Exactly. Perfect. And actually, I see this is the one I was hoping to find today. Perfect. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Jackie Dalton. I retired from Council Rock two years ago, but I love it so much that I came back subbing. And one of my favorite places to come is the library. And when I first walked in here, I was just in awe of this place. You'll find if you walk around the library, there are a lot of special places. And these are books that have to do with celebrating. For example, this will change from time to time through the help of the librarian and her assistant. But what's fun is the kids can walk around and there's so many places that they can sit and grab a book. And I especially like how the books are set up here on the shelves. They can just look through them instead of pulling them off the shelf 
and if they take a book out and go through them, it's easy to put the books away. If you come to Council Rock, as soon as you walk in, you'll see this place and you'll be in awe of it. Even up to the ceilings are the beautiful wall we have over here with the habits of mind. Words just to remind us to keep persisting and work to do our best. Council Rock, this is just amazing and I love being here. Hi, my name is Gail Saki and I am the teaching assistant for Council Rock Library. I created all the labels for our new cataloging system over the summer and what I really love about it is everything just makes so much sense. If teachers come in and ask me for a book, I can sometimes just go right to the cart and find it because it's a book about reptiles. It's going to be right where the reptiles are. And if the kids want a book about um, princesses, it's like here's all the princesses all in one place. So I don't have to take the time to go into um, the computer and look it up or whatever. Most of the time I can go right over and say, oh, that's probably in this category. And sure enough, it is because it makes sense. And when I have to put books away, I can grab a whole stack and put the whole stack in one category. It helps move the books and make them more available a lot faster than it used to be. Hi, I'm Sandy Nixon. I'm a TA here at Council Rock School and we're in our new fabulous library. The thing that I notice the most about the books are lower to the ground, just the right height for kids. It's a lot more spacious and we have a skylight that lets in natural light and it's colorful and some kids are more relaxed here because it's so spacious and inviting. Hi, I'm Matt Tappan. I'm the principal here at Council Rock and just wanted to share some thoughts about our new library. Um, so we are so proud of the space as it has turned out um, on so many levels. As a primary school, our vision for this, uh, Ms. Moskovichis and myself, was that this would be the center of our school. Um, literacy and books are so important to the primary level and putting this in this location with this space, with Adele's uh, vision of how it would be used by students daily, uh, really has come to fruition. The reactions from both kids and adults is magical. I've heard parents say, um, they wish they could be primary school students and come in and enjoy this library. And probably the biggest compliment to the architects and designer is it was like being at the Strong Museum. The environment we've established is what we were hoping for and the kids are using it just the way that, that we dreamed of. Hi, my name is Raphael and I'm in Mrs. Pappas' class. And I have noticed about in this new library, there's a little skylight about at the roof over there and it's pretty awesome and it's easier to find the books because they're, they all have their own sections. So people sometimes ask, given the new structure of the library, how are the kids going to learn how a real library works? And so we do have a section that is traditional. This is the fiction section. So they're the big fat chapter books for kids who are really reading. They know how to alphabetize. They know how to put a book back. We have shelf markers to help them. So, so you get one, um, these and then you put it like say I'm one of this book I would put it right here and then I would take this one and then I would take that book out and leave that right there and if I look at it and I don't want it I would put it right back in here and then I would take it out this is sort of the transition so that when they go to the next level up, they will understand that um, sometimes books are um, put by their author's last name and how all of that works. So this is the maker space. The library was allotted a lot of space and I thought if there wasn't a space for this somewhere else in the school, we should definitely have it as part of the library. We can use it from library, but teachers can also sign it out and it's a space where kids can create. It's sort of like a learning lab. They can bring down all their materials, they can make a nice big mess and do something usually related to um, science, technology, engineering, and math, but they can really use it for anything. 
So we have carved out a little spot in the library where we do the lessons and the stories. So we have this half circle display which serves a couple of purposes. It's a nice little barrier so we have a cozy area to be together and it's also where I put the books that connect with the lesson that we're doing. This cycle we're doing a lesson about um, a special kind of bird, the kingfisher. So we have books and stories about birds and some early readers that also tie in. It's a great space where we can be that also allows other kids or teachers to come in and find books. So even while I'm teaching in with the kids, everybody else also has access to the whole rest of the library. So the kids are really finding what they want to read. They're able to explore a lot more. In our old library, when it was time to get books, the kids really needed an adult most of the time to find them something. And they were going to their old favorites, kind of always picking the same kind of book. But now it's like the sky is the limit because they can see so many other opportunities and they can discover different types of books. They can find what they like and then they have a comfy spot to sit and read just like at home. So a lot of people helped a lot to get this done. Um, we have been planning on the big construction project at Council Rock for a couple of years. And so when I first got um, the chance to help design it, I had a pretty good design. And then a little while later, I went into my principal's office and said, you know, it, is it too late <laughs> to change how I want all of the furniture? And he said no and we talked about it and we were able to make this big change so there was so much support um, from the administration um, and we also had a lot of help from um, volunteers in August we had about 45 families that came in and helped at different times and it was the grown-ups and the kids they really liked helping with the stickering um, and even some families that don't have kids that go to Council Rock anymore um, we also had help from people who work here. Um, Gail, my TA extraordinaire, designed all of the labels and she worked really hard over the summer doing that. And we had a lot of help from our duplicating department, Nadine. Um, she provided all of the materials so that we can make the dividers and she printed up a lot of the labels and what we needed. We also got support from the Rochester Regional Library Council. Um, they provided a grant to help us to do this as well. So it was a big team effort and we really love how it turned out. So here it is, the Council Rock Library. I hope you like it. We are always open to visitors, so if anybody wants to come and see it in person, you are welcome to, and you can see the kids having fun, loving the books, and being motivated to read. Keeping your spot in line so we can turn.